All right, guys, Buildzoid here, and this is going to be hopefully a quick video because I don't really want to spend too much time on this, but Azrock's marketing is just, like, out of control. So, um, I first saw this on Tech Power Up, and, like, th this is not okay. So, new records are made. Azrock Z490 Aqua boosts Intel 10th Gen Core CPU to win four global first places. Being the latest flagship and limited motherboard, the Z490 Aqua has been uh, has been pleased all gamers and PC enthusiasts since its announcement. The cutting-edge performance and design of the Z490 Aqua push Intel 10th Gen Core uh, CPU to four global first place bench benchmark results. The well-known overclocker Splave achieves four global first places with the with Z490 Aqua and Intel Core i9 10900KF CPU. So, congratulations to Splave on his uh, you know global first places like that. Huge respect. Like even yeah, like it's all always extremely difficult to get uh top scores like this um though he makes it look easy <laughs> um but anyway so you know the, the board he set a bunch of records um and so in conjunction with uh, core i9 10900 uh core i9 10900kf with uh, cinebench okay but winning a total of core not an easy task yep sure uh thanks and congratulations to splay he has managed extremely well to overclock i9 10900kf on z490 aqua the achievements are attributed to the hard, hard work and azrock's key esprit pursuing innovation the z490 aqua is no doubt the right choice for pc enthusiasts so this would be cool and all if Splave had actually been sent a Z490 Aqua. Um, you know, this board right here in this picture, this board that they're saying did four global first places. Uh, here's a sort of clearer image, this board, right? This is the Z490 Aqua we all know and I hate. Um, uh, it's a limited edition, 1,000 units, 1100 and yeah, $1,100. has a silly full cover water block on it that doesn't really, you know, do anything, but... Uh, um except drive up the cost uh so so this is the board that they're claiming is like used for these records but the thing is this is the board splave actually got sent um and you know and if we go through the scores so if we go through this first one this one actually um well so that's the first one but i also want to scroll down to like this one so this this score and the hardware bot is really slow on my computer with GPU acceleration. It's just completely broken. So this core, we have four DIMM slots on there, but you'll notice that this is actually Photoshopped. And uh, like it actually, at a glance, it looks decent. And then when you start looking at like the edges of the, the DIMM slots, it's like, wait a minute, that's not actually, like those DIMMs aren't supposed to be there. Um, but uh, anyway, in, in, in the other scores, like my understanding is Splave did this as a joke. Um, so, like, I, the the thing is, I do not want to, like, take away from Splave's achievement of making these scores. Like, I have nothing but respect for, you know, like, uh, like, world, like, overclocks like this, even with, uh, motherboards like this. I think the fact that this, this motherboard that isn't a Z490 Aqua exists, I think that's really cool. Um... What I don't think is cool is that Azrock is using this uh, special engineering sample, like special, you know, it's not really, a, well, I'm t I guess you could still consider it an engineering sample board. Um, that, like, Azrock is using that board to advertise uh, the 4 dim retail motherboard that wasn't used for these records at all. And the problem with that is, is like, so the thing is, this board right here, what it looks like they essentially did, um, is they took a Z490 Aqua and then they fixed the memory layout essentially for extreme overclocking by removing the unnecessary dim slots because having four dim slots significantly harms your ma max like memory overclocking capabilities, um, which is why like you know the dark Z490 uh, Z390 and Z490 dark two dim motherboard. Uh, Maximus uh, 12 Apex, 2 DIM motherboard, Maximus 11 Apex, 2 DIM motherboard, Maximus, like all of the Apex boards from Asus are 1 DIM per channel because 1 DIM per channel uh, is optimal for memory overclocking capabilities. And so ASRock obviously did the same thing here. They wanted a motherboard that's actually capable of taking, you know, world records. And so they built a uh, Z490 Aqua-OC, you could say, you know, like an Aqua that doesn't suck at memory overclocking. Um, and... And they're using that board, this board, which I think is actually very impressive because, you know, it, like it got these records, um, you know, the, the memory settings it's running are up there in terms of perform. Like the, the, those are some impressive memory settings right there. 
I, like in line with what you'd expect from a two dimmer, but impressive non nonetheless. And the thing is, um, like they're advertising this four dim board, which even by Azrock's own specifications, like if we go to the specs here, um, yeah, forty seven hundred is apparently like the maximum supported memory speed but you know like if you actually go to the memory qvl this thing is in typical asrock fashion uh so uh, yeah where's that 4700 you're talking about i I'd, I'd love to know um what memory kit i'm supposed to buy to run this motherboard at 4700 um and so yeah so like one, the Aqua is already, like, the ASRock's usual memory support lists are awful, as, as is the norm. Um, the And then, then their marketing department is advertising, you know, the over $1,100 Aqua with this engineering sample, which is just absolutely not okay. Like, at all. And the thing is, like, we've had extreme overclocking special special edition boards like this where, you know, they, they, like, there's probably, like, 10 of this board. Um, Gigabyte's done things like this where they'd make 10 special extreme overclocking boards that they'd use to set a bunch of records. But the thing is, Gigabyte would never use those boards to advertise, r like, like, not, they wouldn't, so actually, no, like, the point of having records is to advertise your product line, but they wouldn't claim that like the Z370X uh, SOC Force, right, uh, dash LN, uh, SOC Force LN2 Z370 board, which uh, I think they made like a hundred of maybe, um, like they never said that the Z370 Extreme or, well, they didn't have an Extreme, but they never, like they never made the claim that the Z370 Gaming 7 broke any records because it didn't. Um, they, they, you know, whatever records they got with the Z370, and I'm not sure if they even got records with that board, but like Gigabyte, like they have a unique name for the extreme overclocking boards that they make. And so it's very clear from the records, from the scores, that it is a different, you know, special motherboard that was used to set those records. Meanwhile, ASRock couldn't even be bothered with like changing the BIOS name string um, for their motherboard. So in all of Splave's scores, it looks like he's using a Z490 Aqua 4 dimmer when he's actually using this thing, which as cool as this board is, is not the same thing as this thing. So like, it's just like, it's just straight up false advertising. They're advertising a four dim motherboard with a two dim. Um, wait, also the memory speed is just constantly going up. Great. <laughs> Like, so in the specs, it's 4,700, up here it's 4,800, and in the QVL, it's 4,000. Like, that's great, guys. That's really great. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, so, and ultimately, I don't think this will, like, the people buying a Z490 Aqua probably don't care about the Aqua's memory overclocking capability. They probably just want the shiny m m water block. But... Like, I don't want this to become, like, nor, like, I don't want this to become a thing in, with, with motherboard vendors. Like, I don't want to see, uh, you know, like, Asus advertising the Extreme as breaking a bunch of world records when they did them on the Apex. I don't want to see MSI advertising the, the Godlike based on records that they set with a Tudim version of the Godlike, right? Um... I don't want to see Gigabyte advertising the Z4, Z490 Extreme based on records set with a 2 dim version of the Z490 Extreme. Like, that, that's not okay. Um, that would not be okay. And that's exactly what ASRock is doing here. They, they not use it, like... I, I would have been much more interested if they had shown what kind of things the actual 4 dim board can do. Um, you know, like... But but instead, they're just like, yeah, so we'll send Splave a motherboard that's just better than what we're actually selling to our customers, and then we'll we'll tell people that the, the board they're buying is amazing. And it's just like, no, it isn't. Uh, Splave got a better board than you, and you can't buy the board Splave got because, uh, uh, well, the, the thing is, most people don't want a 2DIM ATX board anyway, so that's not really the, like, th that's the thing. Like, the people ultimately buying an Aqua don't care, but this is not okay. Um... Like, yeah, this is not okay at all. Um, and, you know, like, props to Splave on the scores. I'm impressed with what Azrock's, you know, engineering uh, team was able to come up with for, for, for this board right here, which unfortunately doesn't have an official name. 
because I refuse to call it the Z490 Aqua because that's this thing, and this thing isn't anywhere near as impressive as this. So, uh, yeah, that's that's it for the video. Um, don't don't do this. Like, th this is not okay at all. So. Yeah, I guess thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the uh, comment section below. Um, if you'd like to support what I do here with actually hardcore overclocking, I have a Patreon. There's a link in the description down below for that. And then there's the AHOC Tree Spring store where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual YouTuber merch. There's a link to that down in the description below as well. And that's it for the video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.